brief on this, but some of you sent me this video last week. It's a woman in the hospital crying. She's a nurse and they have no masks and she's having a meltdown. And she tweeted in social media, Bernie Sanders jumped on it. And, and how can the hospital, this is, uh, this is despicable, right? Do you know who I'm talking about? I think some of you do. Have, have you heard the real story of what happened? I suspect many of you haven't. Let me read it to you, and then we'll take a break. And again, we'll come back. Bob, Tom, Ralph, Richard, Derek, Sean, others will take all of your calls. But this is important, again, because CBS News reported this as it was true. Broadcasted it everywhere. Given the perception that this particular hospital wasn't even giving masks to its medical staff. An opportunity for political inroads and division and finger pointing. Because we've got instantaneous access and ways that we can relay information without knowing whether it's true or not. Here's the story. A travel nurse whose tearful Instagram video decrying a lack of gear, masks, etc. at the hospital in which she worked went viral, as it turns out, was not completely truthful in her video. Amaris Vera, who is based in Chicago, said she quit because nurses in the designated COVID unit to which she was assigned were not wearing masks and she was not allowed to wear her personal N95 mask. CBS reported the story, quote, in tears, a nurse says she quit her job after she was asked to work in a coronavirus ICU without a face mask. America is not prepared and nurses are not being protected. That's the direct quote from CBS News. She said, I quit my job today. I went into work. I was assigned to a COVID patient on an ICU unit that has been converted to a designated COVID unit. None of the nurses are wearing masks, not even surgical masks in the hallways when they're giving reports to each other. She said, I understand we're short on supplies, but let me feel safe. I have family that I have to come home to, and the way that things are looking, this is not going to get any better. That's the direct quote. Bernie Sanders, of course, retweeted that video, and the next thing you know, it kind of blew up. She even responded to Sanders. She said this, which is not the truth. We were each assigned one N95 per one COVID patient's room, but was not allowed to wear it outside of the room. Wear our own N95 mask around the nurses' stations or halls, which I came prepared with. HPCs absolutely deserve protection by any means. Well, not only did it turn out she'd not been a bedside ICU nurse for a, a year. She didn't work for a year. Went back to work this first day. But she also said that she was afraid to go into work. Now, I don't want to get into mental health issues. There is some attribution. She said that she has been diagnosed with bipolar, depression, anxiety. She obviously wasn't fit to go to work that day. But she posted this video and it blew up mainstream. She probably shouldn't have gone to work that day. But here's the bottom line. A few days later, she took to Instagram and posted another video. And it is, um, it's appalling. She's singing and dropping expletives. And she seems like maybe she's inebriated. I don't know. But the medical establishment has responded with the truth again. She quit on the very first day back on the job, hadn't been at work for a year, has some self-described problems. And um, here's an important post that someone else in the medical establishment shared. Our nurses, 
nurse practitioners, physicians' assistants, doctors, everyone on the front lines in our hospitals and clinics deserve to have adequate personal protection equipment. What we do not need are unserious drama queens making the crisis worse by using social media as a way to work through their emotional issues. Whether they're nurses in suburban Chicago, pundits, or keyboard warriors. So why do I present that story? Am I here to demonize this woman? No. I hope and pray she gets help. But again, if anything, it's a disclaimer. Be careful about what you open yourself up to. CBS News reported this and made their own editorial on it, presenting that somehow this is really bad. We're not even protecting those on the front line. Not true. And again, for those of you that are all into conspiracies and this is the beginning of the cashless society and on and on and on, look to some of our great preachers for their perspective. When we continue, we'll take calls, and also David Jeremiah was asked to weigh in on this. He's like, no, this is, this is not what a lot of people fear. In fact, he says, don't let fear become a greater problem than the coronavirus. Please keep your wits. Stay close to the Lord. Spend quiet time with him. Read God's word. Repent. Because probably safe to say my inbox will have 30 by the time we get off the air and 29 aren't worth two seconds. So be careful what you pass along. One line open, 888-528-2557. I don't think I was too mean. Do you? I'll probably get emails. You're so mean. Oh, my goodness. Let's just re-share the truth with a capital T. More of the Frank Sontag Show as we continue next. Welcome back to the Frank Sontag Show. Any day is a good day when you hear a little hootie and the blowfish. Welcome back to the program. We are taking your calls among...